Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode where we delve into the fascinating, occasionally bizarre, and always surprising world of, well, let's just say things you wouldn't expect. Today we're strapping on our political scientist hats, mine's a little dusty I admit, and diving deep into the world of athletes who traded the roar of the crowd for the slightly less enthusiastic murmur of the Senate floor. That's right, we're talking about athletes who became politicians. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't that a bit like comparing apples and, well, slightly bruised oranges? And you'd be right. But stick with me here, because as we'll soon discover, the Venn diagram of people who are really good at throwing a ball and people who are qualified to run a country actually has a surprisingly large overlap. So buckle up, grab your favorite electrolyte-infused sports drink, and get ready for a wild ride through the careers of 10 athletes who decided to trade in their jerseys for power suits. First up, we have Bill Bradley, a man who knows a thing or two about winning championships. We're talking, of course, about his time with the New York Knicks, where he helped lead the team to two NBA titles in the 1970s. He was a basketball superstar, no doubt, but Bradley's ambitions extended far beyond the court. After retiring from basketball, Bradley decided to trade in his high tops for some sensible leather shoes and take a shot at politics. And wouldn't you know it, he was a natural. In 1979, Bradley was elected to the United States Senate, representing the good people of New Jersey. For 18 years, Bradley served as a senator, tackling issues like tax reform and health care. He even threw his hat in the ring for the 2000 Democratic presidential nomination, proving that once you've played at Madison Square Garden, the national stage doesn't seem quite so daunting. Next up is Jack Kemp a man whose journey took him from the football field to the halls of Congress. Now, you might not remember this, but before he was a politician, Kemp was a quarterback. Not just any quarterback, mind you, but a quarterback for the Buffalo Bills during their AFL glory days. After hanging up his cleats, Kemp decided to trade the gridiron for the political arena. In 1971, he was elected to the House of Representatives, representing New York's 31st Congressional District. Talk about a career change. Kemp quickly became known for his conservative views and his passion for economic policy. He was a champion of supply-side economics, earning himself the nickname the father of the Reagan Revolution. Not bad for a guy who used to throw touchdowns for a living. Hold on to your baseball caps, folks, because our next entry on the list is none other than Jim Bunning, a man who threw fastballs and passed legislation with equal skill. Before he was a politician, Bunning was a legendary pitcher for the Detroit Tigers and the Philadelphia Phillies. We're talking about a nine-time All-Star and a Cy Young Award winner. But Bunning wasn't content with just striking out batters. He wanted to strike out bad policy too. In 1999, he traded in his baseball glove for a gavel and was elected to the United States Senate, representing Kentucky known for his conservative stances and his, shall we say, colorful personality. Bunning spent 12 years in the Senate where he was a vocal advocate for fiscal responsibility and a staunch opponent of government spending. Our next athlete turned politician is Steve Largent, a man who went from catching touchdowns to catching votes. Before entering the political arena, Largent was a wide receiver and a damn good one at that. He spent his entire 14-season career with the Seattle Seahawks, setting numerous NFL records along the way. But after retiring from football, Largent decided to tackle a new challenge public service. In 1994, he was elected to the House of Representatives, representing Oklahoma's first congressional district. During his time in Congress, Largent was known for his conservative views and his commitment to family values. He was a strong advocate for education reform and a vocal opponent of abortion. Next up is Tom McMillan, a man who went from driving the lane to navigating the halls of Congress. Before entering the world of politics, McMillan was a star basketball player for the University of Maryland, and later a first-round draft pick in the NBA. But McMillan wasn't content to just be a basketball star, he had bigger aspirations. In 1987, he was elected to the United States House of Representatives, representing Maryland's 4th Congressional District. During his time in Congress, McMillan was known for his moderate views and his commitment to bipartisanship. He was a strong advocate for education reform and environmental protection. Not bad for a guy who used to be known for his jump shot. Hold on to your helmets, folks, 
because our next entry is Heath Schuler, a man who knows a thing or two about pressure-packed situations, both on and off the field. Before he was a politician, Schuler was a star quarterback for the University of Tennessee, where he led the Volunteers to an SEC championship and finished second in the Heisman Trophy voting. But Schuler's football career didn't quite reach the same heights in the NFL. After a few seasons with the Washington Redskins, he decided to trade in his playbook for a different kind of playbook, the world of politics. In 2007, Schuler was elected to the House of Representatives, representing North Carolina's 11th Congressional District. As a congressman, he was known for his conservative views, particularly on fiscal issues. Our next athlete turned politician is J.C. Watts, a man whose journey took him from the football fields of Canada to the halls of Congress. Now you might be surprised to learn that Watts actually got his start in the Canadian Football League, playing quarterback for the Ottawa Rough Riders. But Watts wasn't content with just throwing touchdowns in the Great White North. He returned to the United States and decided to pursue a career in public service. In 1995, he was elected to the House of Representatives, representing Oklahoma's 4th Congressional District. Watts quickly became a rising star in the Republican Party, known for his charisma and his conservative views. He was a vocal advocate for faith-based initiatives and a strong supporter of free market principles. Get ready to be tackled by our next entry, John Runyon, a man who went from protecting quarterbacks to protecting the interests of his constituents. Before entering the world of politics, Runyon was an offensive tackle in the NFL, known for his size, strength, and, shall we say, aggressive playing style. After 14 seasons in the NFL, Runyon decided to hang up his cleats and try his hand at a different kind of challenge politics. In 2011, he was elected to the House of Representatives, representing New Jersey's 3rd Congressional District. In Congress, Runyon was known for his conservative views and his focus on issues like veterans' affairs and small business growth. He served two terms before deciding to retire from politics in 2015. Next up is Kevin Johnson, a man who went from running the point to running a city. Before entering politics, Johnson was a star point guard in the NBA, known for his speed, agility, and dazzling passes. He spent 11 seasons with the Phoenix Suns, leading them to the NBA Finals in 1993. But Johnson wasn't content with just being a basketball legend, he wanted to make a difference in his community. In 2008, he was elected mayor of Sacramento, California, where he served two terms. As mayor, Johnson was known for his focus on economic development and urban revitalization. He played a key role in keeping the Sacramento Kings NBA franchise from relocating and spearheaded efforts to revitalize the city's downtown core. And last but certainly not least, we have Arnold Schwarzenegger, a man whose life story is so over the top, so utterly unbelievable, that it could only happen in America, from bodybuilder to terminator to governator. Schwarzenegger went from bodybuilding champion to Hollywood action hero to, wait for it, the governor of California. Before entering the world of politics, Schwarzenegger was best known for his roles in blockbuster films like The Terminator, Predator, and Total Recall. But in 2003, he decided to trade in his action movie career for a real-life action role, The Governator of California. Schwarzenegger's tenure as governor was, to put it mildly, eventful. He tackled issues like climate change, healthcare reform, and the state's budget crisis, all while maintaining his larger-than-life persona. That's our top 10 athletes who made the jump to politics, a whirlwind tour of the world of greats who traded in their jerseys for power suits. From the basketball court to the halls of Congress, these individuals have proven that the skills and determination that make you a champion in sports can also translate to success in the political arena. So, what do you think? Are these athletes turned politicians an inspiration? Or are they just a bunch of jocks who should have stuck to sports? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next incredible top 10 list. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and remember, anything is possible, even going from throwing touchdowns to passing, legisl to passing legislation. See you next time.